Okay guys, uh, here we go with another video for my uh, guys in the 122nd, or rather my guys that are in the 90th trying to graduate and uh, join the 122nd and they're having problems with the air-to-air -air refueling task. So this, the purpose of this video is to kind of give you a few tips and pointers to show you what I do for my air-to-air -air refuel and hopefully it'll help you out as well. I've got a guy specifically in mind that I'm not going to mention, hopefully this, this helps them out, but I won't mention their name. All right, so first and foremost, uh, we've gotten a bit close to the tanker. Um, I've got a mission actually I can send you guys so that you don't have to fly for 20, 30 minutes to get to the tanker. You pretty much appear in the air next to it. But anyways, first things first, let's go ahead and contact the tanker. And let them know that we want to grab gas. All right. That's step one. You saying we're good? Okay, step two, left control R, getting my refuel uh, door open, and we know it's open via the ready light. All right, so we got steps one and two down. Next, step three, this is the big one, all right. Step three will be to take a look at our fuel, how much do we have, 7,100, so we, we've got 7,100 pounds of gas, so our goal in order to meet standards is to be able to put 2,000 pounds of gas in the aircraft within five minutes. And uh, hopefully we can get that done and uh, showcase how you get that done for you today, all right? So as we're getting a little closer, uh, w with your audio settings, you want to make sure your audio settings are tuned up for the uh, in cockpit because you need to hear the engine. You need to hear the engine and what it's doing so that you can adjust as necessary. Anyway, as I get closer, once the aircraft is within the speed tape once the two engines are kind of within the speed tape and the altitude tape uh, of my HUD I know that I can call ready pre-contact however I want to have a little bit of gamesmanship and at some point as I get a little closer because I want to be ready and maximize my time I'm going to go ahead and call ready pre-contact now it's pretty close but I'll go ahead and call ready, all right now pushing the throttle forward just to here. I can hear the engine whistling a little bit. So right now I'm looking at my HUD and this is very difficult to do. I need to transition from looking at the HUD and my symbology within the HUD to just purely wanting to fly formation with this aircraft. That's it. That's the, that's the key to air to air refueling. I know a lot of guys stare at the lights. The lights are important, but you need to get the aircraft in a sweet spot so where you're just purely flying formation and make slow adjustments. So I'm coming forward very slowly. Contact. All right, he's called contact. I'm no longer looking at the hood. I'm just staring at the aircraft. Staring at the aircraft, staring at the aircraft. Small adjustments are coming forward a little bit. Back off the gas just a hair. Aircraft looks like it's slowly coming to the left. It's, it's getting away from me, so I'm pushing the throttle forward just a little bit. So I'm coming too far forward, coming back. Adjustments are very slow and, mu and subtle. Excellent. I thought I was taking fuel the whole time. My eyes are actually watering from staring at this damn
taking all the air, taking the air. I was taking fuel the whole time. All right, so let's take a look at the gas. All right, so that's 5,000 pounds. Wasn't perfect. I was a little bit confused. Sometimes I thought I was taking gas, sometimes I wasn't. But either way, the standard, 2,000 pounds at five minutes. I went from 7,000 to 12,000, so that's 5,000 pounds. More than enough. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Just trying to graduate the 90th and make it to the squadron, all right? So from here, we let them know we are done. And again, it wasn't pretty. I had a couple of three, four, five disconnects, but at the end of the day, we've got the gas that we needed and we are done, all right? So some guys will try to fly, fly the lights a little bit more than necessary, just fly formation with the aircraft. And with that said, I hope this video helps. and I'll see you next time.